Hello everyone and welcome back to the Kukuli Bushcraft channel. Okay, so it's windy. I'm in a park. There's a building site over there. <laughs> this might be a bit noisy. <laughs> so sorry about that, but uh, I'm in Kusumo at the moment and I'm not really doing much in the way of bushcraft and I've not been going fishing or anything like that. I'm uh, currently in a park next to a lovely lake which is full of muskrat, which is a North American species introduced to Europe for uh, farming for fur. Uh, really quite a lot of them. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd make a quick video, show you some of the surroundings. It's quite nice around here. This is the Olanka River. This is where they used to float logs from the trees felled in the forest here down to the sawmills across the border into Russia to be sawn into timber for construction. So this is an old reindeer corral. So where they used to round the reindeers up for calf marking, uh, for culling a few of them, uh, for vaccinations as well, things like that. Uh, I've got a video on uh, on one of one of the reindeer roundups that we went to last year. I'll put a link in the description to that maybe. But uh, we're actually not in Lapland. Well, actually, we are. <laughs> yeah, Kusamo is right on the border of Lapland. So right now we're just to the north of that border. So my understanding of this from what I've seen from other reindeer roundups is that fence over there that's a big one is a holding area. The reindeer are brought into this small corral and separated, uh, you know, to be marked, to be vaccinated uh, or to be culled. And this is kind of more of a, well, Actually, that one with the gate going out is uh, a holding area, or both of these two. So there's a gate there that can be opened, and yeah, there's basically gates that can be opened and shut. And uh, also there's netting uh, that can be used to make any area smaller or divided. Yeah, so big enclosure, separating corral and a couple of little holding areas. Okay, so these kind of fences have been being built round here for a very long time. Uh, in the old days, they used to be held together quite often with spruce withies. Oh, cordage made from spruce branches or spruce saplings. Uh, nowadays, of course, they use nails, but still quite a common sight. I'm currently in Kusumo. So Kusumo is about 60 kilometers south of the Arctic Circle. That's about 40 miles, so not so far away. This area has been populated since about six or seven thousand BC, uh, the population here was mostly Sami up until the seventeenth century, and in the seventeenth century, Finnish people from further south were encouraged to come north with gifts of free land and also uh, exemption from military service and some tax breaks as well.
there's absolutely lots of chaga down here there seems to be a lot more than in Heta and as you can see you don't exactly have to come out into the wilderness to find it Yes, there is Chaga absolutely everywhere. So this is Coltsfoot. I've seen this a lot in the south of Finland. Again, we don't have it in Heta. But this is the best cough remedy that I know of. Uh, so you just dry the leaves and make an infusion. Uh, this is now frowned upon because it can have some adverse effects uh, so yeah <laughs> so maybe not the safest cough remedy uh, please bear that in mind but uh, it used to work for me when i used to have a chest infection when i was young we don't have many nettles in heather uh, and the ones we do have don't sting very much and neither do these Okay, the wind's died down now and uh, I don't think you can hear those motorbikes. <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching everyone. Please give us a thumbs up, drop us a comment and I'll see you all again soon for another Googly Bushcraft video. Bye for now.